so guys welcome back again to my channel welcome to another episode of my channel just use some seconds and imagine nigerians without the ebos imagine how the country will be like without the investment of the ebos without the existence of the ebos imagine how nigeria will be like but i like you guys to just watch them this man and hear what he said about ebos being in nigeria and also imagine ebos without nigeria just hear your view in the comment section after watching this video i'll see you guys in a minute I'm talking about 15th century, when Lagos was nothing, when Nigeria was nothing. You know, 15th century, the Igbo man's presence has already been registered in a, an empire and liberated and controlled by the Benins. And that's why you can see traces like Oyimbo in Lagos was purely an Igbo community. So as at that 15th century, you know, the, the, the father of uh, that gave back to Dr. Nandaziki, they was operating here. So many of them like that was operating here at uh, a, a crowd, a, a giant crowd. If you have read most of his book, you will discover that it was have started earlier enough contributing to the success of where we found ourselves. Those people can be called you know, uh, uh, Igbo Lagos, you know. But when you're talking about Igbo in Lagos, you're talking about from the 19th century downwards. But that is, by the way, just to give you an insight, you know, on where, what we are feasting on today. Nigeria, I can make references that, let me take it from the point where uh, I still call his name anytime, I, uh, any day, uh, uh, this kind of issue comes up. You know, I'm talking about you know the uh, uh, the Ghani Adams of this world. You know where he made it very clearly. He said, "Quote and unquote, there is no doubt about it." He said, "There is no doubt about it. The Igbos are the Jews of this country." You know what it means? Tunda Bakare of the Letter Rain Assembly also attributed and agreed that. Igbos are the salt of the nation. The salt, without Igbos, Nigeria would definitely lose its taste. Not only in Nigeria, everywhere. Because, you know, uh, their, their mobility nature is one. You know, their resilience is another thing. You know, perseverance is another thing. Love suffering is another thing. These, these qualities that make a nation that make individuals, that make communities, you know, that illuminate. That was why they said in, 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 in Biafra, Africa died. Ah, in Biafra too, Africa would do what? Rise. Namdekano said it very clearly, you know, when he was in one of his speeches, he said, until the restoration of Biafra, Africa will continue to go down. That is the position, that is the status quo. Bro, this thing can be checked over and over again. This thing can be proven by Anybody, it can go and cross-check. It's not something uh, that is hidden. It's something anybody can find out by himself. That what makes an Igbo man who he is today? That is another factor, you know. It is something you can go and confirm. It is in their DNA. What makes Adolf Hitler of this world to go against the Jews of Europe? What did the Jews of Europe do? Because there has always been in the pioneers of so many innovations, so many theories, so many things, and the only people that have tested an angelic food up to today, there is no foundation of civility, innovation, technology. You cannot find an Israeli or a Jewish, a Jewish man behind. Behind, there's no check. Is it electricity? Check. Is it plain? Check all of them. That is what Igbo man is. The fear of Igbo man breaking away, you know, is the uh, uh, sentiment, you know, of mystery we have we are seeing playing out on daily basis. Both the Northerners, both the Yorubas, they are looking at it. How does it manage to? It's a mystery. The Igbo man does not know how he is able to emerge from the ashes of war, and in less than few years from then, it has already been predicted to have dominated they have given that tag has already come not from Ibozo but you know from observers from watchers from uh, 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 think tanks around the world you know talking about uh, these people who are they those mysteries you can only get it from them 
through, you know, being able you know, to imitate them. When the Northerners and the Yorubas try to imitate the Euro, the, 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 the Igbos, you know, on the way they do their things, you know, it becomes a mystery to them. That's the fact. See, let me tell you, do you know what, after Israel as a nation has fought over 4,000 wars, you know, in their history, today they became the strongest nation in the world. Yorubas and Awusas have never fought a modern war. Now this one where Britain all of them can go up against the bulls. Let them go and test the might of the ingenuity discovered in the black man. The Yorubas themselves uh, have to invite the British to come and intervene. He was never did. He was fought the British Empire for 40 something years before the penetration came. Compared to people that sat down in one place and it was even inviting the enemy to come. The Yorubas have never fought a modern war. And Igbos are not afraid to migrate. Mobility is inside them. Mobility is part of them. Discovery is part of them. Adventure is mysterious to anybody apart from them because they are the only race in the Africa in the black man world. Black man has a world though. The black skin has a world. Not this white man you are seeing. The black man that colonized India, Italy for 15,000 years. Africanus, the one that was named after Africa. Look at those great men in America, Malcolm X and all of them. They are all Hebrew slaves. The DIA are there. Those who transformed America, what, they, what America is to them. Those black uh, uh, pioneers of human rights. They are all from this part of the world. They are all Hebrew. You know, and, and you can see that consistently we, are, we have continued to show, you know, uh, either by omission or commission, this is what we are and this is where we are coming from. Let me give you one, one clear example. The first military, bros, I'm talking about military, not even civilian. People who should. Commandos in the history of this country was an Igbo man, Major General. Agree, you don't see. Pioneers. Pioneers. I'm talking about pioneers. The first speaker. Jaja Wachuku. The first vice chancellor of Nigeria. We are the best setters. Nobody can take that away from us. Even if Biafra goes today and there is a problem. Look at. Let me give you an insight that we are beginning to understand the Nigeria factor. It's not, it's not like uh, during the era of uh, IBB, Abu Salami, Buhari, and all the funny things that has controlled this country in the past. Down to Obasanjo himself. Immediately after the war, we took our time to start picking our pieces. That's like what happened to Moses when Moses broke the Ten Commandments. And there was an amendment. The Igbos are on it. Amending. Amending. That amendment, you know, people are not seeing it physically. But it's something, when you look deeply, you understand that the once you remove illumination in the midst of darkness, it becomes total darkness. Nigeria, as a name, is darkness. The only light Nigeria have is in the midst of darkness. It's an Igbo man's ingenuity. As simple as that. So guys, as simple as that, you can't do without the Igbos. Igbos are the light of this country, Nigeria. Just imagine the Igbos, the investment the Igbos have done in this country. And that's why the Yorubas are fighting so hard that the Igbos do not go anywhere. They are fighting anybody saying that Igbos should go, that they are the one that to go. Our buttons have come out to stand with the Igbos. The robots have come out to town with the bulls, and a lot of people have come to town with the bulls, saying that Ibos go nowhere because Ibos are the light of this nation. Like he said, he said, if you remove illumination from darkness, it becomes total darkness. The Ibos are the light. So once you remove the Ibos, because Ibos have given good opportunities to these countries and uh, uh, Nigerians, they have given food, they have given shelter, they have sponsored some people in schools. So Ibos are the light of this nation. I don't think that everybody can do 
anything against the Igbo because Igbo is now having support from the Yorubas, from the outsiders, from even Bas and Jock came out to speak from for the Igbo, saying that the Igbo is going nowhere. So let me know what you about the video in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode on my channel. Stay tuned guys.